Bills quarterback Jalen Hurts is dealing with a shoulder injury. He suffered a sprained shoulder on Sunday against the Bears. He got driven into the ground late in the third quarter. Now his status is at best uncertain for Saturday. Just one day after the Philadelphia Eagles beat the Chicago Bears to advance to 13-1 on the NFL season, they got some pretty bad news regarding their MVP caliber quarterback Jalen Hurts. Yesterday, it was reported that Jalen Hurts suffered a shoulder sprain during the team's 25-20 win over the Bears. And this injury doesn't just put his status for the Cowboys game this week in doubt, but he could potentially miss up to the next two games for the Philadelphia Eagles, although this injury is not expected to be long term. Now there's quite a bit to unpack with this information that is being reported. And the first point that I want to make is that I think this injury really could have been avoided. I think in the Chicago Bears game, for some reason, the play calling specifically had Jalen Hurts on a lot of designed quarterback runs. He specifically had 17 carries in the team's win over the Bears. I didn't really agree with the play calling, especially early in the game. Miles Sanders had just reached 1,000 yards rushing on the season in the previous week. And with the Bears defense being weak against the run, I get the the idea of running the football a decent amount in this game, but I don't understand why you wouldn't run the ball with your 1,000 yard rushing running back in Miles Sanders rather than put your franchise quarterback Jalen Hurts in jeopardy by continuously having him run the ball and putting him in danger of being hit. And the Philadelphia Eagles didn't really run Miles Sanders until the second quarter and I just really didn't agree with that and I was really confused by the play calling when it was happening. I didn't really get a chance to talk about it in my video recapping the game so if you want to check out that video you can go watch that. But Jalen Hurts has been hit a lot all season. He's been contacted 184 times throughout the season which is third among quarterbacks and he's been contacted 129 times on running plays, which is first among quarterbacks. So when you kind of hear these numbers and see how the Philadelphia Eagles were calling their game, especially on the Bears, something was bound to happen regarding an injury in some form or another. And of course, we get the shoulder sprain that happened versus the Bears. And on that play, you can kind of just see when he got up, you could tell something was a little bit off. And it really just sucks to hear this news. You never want to hear anybody get injured, and especially when it's an MVP caliber player, the franchise quarterback of the Philadelphia Eagles. You just don't want to hear any type of injury, especially with the success he has had and the Philadelphia Eagles have had over the course of this season. So then you might ask the question, are the Philadelphia Eagles potentially in some serious trouble with this new Jalen Hurts injury development? Well, in short, no, I don't think they are. As much as it sucks that he's hurt and he can miss up to two games with this injury, the Philadelphia Eagles are still in a very favorable position moving forward. They're still sitting at 13-1, which is the best record in the NFL. They have a three-game lead in the NFC East, and they have a two-game lead in the NFC. And all it takes for the Philadelphia Eagles to clinch the NFC East and the one seed is for them to win one of the remaining three games versus the Cowboys, Saints, and Giants. And while Jalen Hurts will potentially miss two of these games, the Eagles have a very capable backup quarterback in Gardner Minshew, who had plenty of success in his time as a starter in Jacksonville and he came in last season when Jalen Hurts had an ankle injury versus the New York Jets. He started that game and he was able to play very well and win that game for the Philadelphia Eagles. And this is all not to mention that the Eagles have very favorable history when it comes to backup quarterbacks in recent years. The Eagles have won their last five games where a backup was in there the first game after a starting quarterback went out, whether that be them being benched like Carson Wentz for Jalen Hurts back in 2020 or a potential injury like the Jalen Hurts one we saw last year where Gardner Minshew came in and won that game versus the Jets for the Eagles. And of course, back in the 2017-18 season, the Philadelphia Eagles had an MVP caliber quarterback in Carson Wentz go out with a torn ACL. Nick Foles came in there and not only won his first game starting for the Eagles that season, but he led the Philadelphia Eagles to a Super Bowl 52 championship that season. And that's not to say that Gardner Minshew will have to come in here and even have to try to do anything like that, but he can certainly hold down the fort and potentially win a game or both while Jalen Hurts recovers from his injury. But having said all this, it's not 100% that Jalen Hurts won't be able to go this Saturday versus the Cowboys. I think Jalen Hurts is an extremely tough player. He obviously played the rest of the game with the shoulder sprain versus the Chicago Bears, and I think he's going to do everything in his power to make sure he's ready to go for this Saturday. And Jalen Hurts just recently today spoke to the media about his shoulder injury and the potential of him playing this game versus the Cowboys. How does the shoulder feel right now? I'm uh, feeling fine. I'm feeling better fine. Than it. So, so we were able to keep it, everything business as usual. From your perspective, do you think you have a chance to play on Saturday? Definitely a chance. Um, taking it day by day though. So judging by his comments, it seems like Hertz is preparing this game just like any other week and getting ready to go and start the game versus the Dallas Cowboys on Christmas Eve. And in addition, Nick Sirianni also had some comments regarding the potential of Jalen Hurts playing this Saturday. And I do not put it past Jalen Hurts. I don't put anything past Jalen Hurts as far as his mental and physical toughness. So there's a chance he could play this week. 
So it sounds like both Nick Sirianni and Jalen Hurts are holding out hope that Hurts will be able to go versus the Cowboys on Saturday. In my opinion, I really don't think Hurts should play this game versus the Cowboys. Obviously, he's going to want to come out here and play versus a rival division opponent in prime time on Christmas Eve. But I really think the most important thing is getting 100% healthy and getting ready for the playoffs. And I think that obviously this game would be really nice to win, but the Eagles only have to win one more of their remaining three in order to be the number one seed and to clinch the NFC East. And that doesn't necessarily have to be this game upcoming versus the Cowboys. And I think really the most important thing for the Philadelphia Eagles is to have Jalen Hurts 100% healthy and ready for the playoff run that they're about to go on this season. If you have to sit them these next two games, even these next three games, that's fine. It'd be great if Gardner Minshew could come in here and win a game and wrap up the one seed in the NFC East so that Jalen Hurts doesn't have to play for the rest of this regular season, but I think the Eagles just need to do what's necessary to get him fully healthy and ready for the playoff run that they're about to make, because the ultimate goal of winning a Super Bowl requires Jalen Hurts to be healthy because he's an integral part, obviously, of what the Philadelphia Eagles do, being an MVP candidate playing so well this season. They're going to need him back at around 100% for the Philadelphia Eagles to go deep into the playoffs and accomplish their goal of winning a Super Bowl. So overall, I think the Philadelphia Eagles are going to be just fine. They're still sitting in a good position despite the Jalen Hurts injury. And as long as something completely unexpected doesn't happen, I think the Philadelphia Eagles will go into the playoffs with the one seed, with the NFC East division title, and with Jalen Hurts being fully healthy and ready for that playoff run. For more Philadelphia Eagles content, you can go watch this video right here and subscribe to the channel if you did enjoy this video and other videos like it covering the Eagles, NFL, NBA, 76ers, all that good stuff. Like the video to help push it out to other people. And with that being said, that's pretty much all I got for this video. So thank you all so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video.